The Prophet says, towards the end of time, men from my nation will come, who will be on conveyances, on rides, which resemble the, you know, I don't know if you've seen it, on the camels in the olden days, they used to have like a little hawda, like a little room they used to put for women to ride in. So the Prophet said, it resembles that, it resembles an enclosed space. And then the next word of the hadith, it uses the word to depict the comforts of home. So it will be enclosed like the hawda, and it would have the comforts of home. A bit like your cars or limousines, you know, there's drinks there, there's comfortable seating there you can lie down, you can rest normally on a horse you couldn't. If you look at the caravans, you can go to the toilet. But I'm not concluding because tomorrow something else might come and it might be a better reflection of the word of the Rasul. So he says they will drive or use this kind of transportation and they will come to the masajid, to the doors of the masajid. Yet their women will be kasiyatin ariyat. The Muslims will be dressed yet undressed, covered yet uncovered. They will walk seductively in a way to attract attention, to arouse desires. And they will attract as in men and also attract as in women in the sense that women will follow their lead. They will want to dress like that, walk like that, talk like that. You see it happening, don't you? I read research, a young girl, a young teen sees 3,000 advertisements per day in America. When I say advertisements, your head's thinking a TV ad. That's just one. When you're driving, you see billboards, it's an advertisement. A pop-up comes on your screen, it's an advertisement. On your phone, it's an advertisement. So they count 3,000 times a day. It is bashed in the head of that young, innocent girl to dress like this, walk like this, talk like this. 3,000 times a day. Can you imagine the pressure on that young teenage girl who looks at herself and looks at the billboard? Can you imagine her anxiety, the lack of confidence in herself, comparing herself 3,000 times to an airbrushed photo, a photoshopped picture of a model who is far away from the reality of creation. Clothing will be very tight or it will be see-through or there will be cuts and slits around the sides and so on and so forth. So that although it pretends it doesn't show what shows. And the Prophet said that they will not smell the fragrance of Jannah, although it could be smelled the distance of so, you know, kadha wa kadha. Although the smell of Jannah can come from so far, yet these people will be made forbidden for them is that smell, that fragrance of Jannah. And the question, why the prophecies? Why did the Rasul tell you? Number one is to increase your Iman, that's a given. But second, so that you can take strategic steps to save your own.